With all the negative press that cops have had over the last number of years, it is great to see them returning to their roots. The wholesome days when the only hot water a cop got into was a hot cup of coffee and a honey cruller on the side. Toronto Police combat negative press with smile cookies. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Yeah. How many cookies did you buy? I got four of them. The cops' images have gotten so bad that they're leaning back into the old stereotype of eating donuts. Some guy in marketing was like, hey, remember when people just thought you were pigs? That's the best we can do. That's, that's all we're gonna get right now. Let's just go back to that. Look at them, trying so hard to be likable. Wouldn't you hate it if these guys came to work one day and they just got in your way? Ah! Hey! Getting a cookie? Getting a cookie? <laughs> Better get a cookie. It's funny, it's, it would be funny if you, if, if you weren't known for killing people, but I don't know, is it? It's kind of funny. Anyway, the police apparently have a huge fake gun violence problem. Canadian police issued a statement that too many people are using fake guns to commit crimes. There were 1,598 fake gun crimes last year, up 38% from the year before. Robbers are apparently using toy guns because it carries less of a sentence. Technically counts as a non-violent crime. I mean, until the cops show up. This guy got shot with a knife, so I don't think your toy gun is going to keep you safe. It is leading to a lot of real kids getting shot and I think there's an important lesson here. Look at this uh, piece right here. Huh? Is that a toy? Nope. Halloween themed pumpkin spice Glock. Right there. How about this one? Hello Kitty assault rifle? That's not real. Oh yes it is. You can buy it from this guy's wife actually. It's not his, it's his wife's. In a time when more and more real guns look like toys, it's important kids play with fake guns that look like fake guns. You know, I mean, look at the, look at these guys. <laughs> what do you call the new water and ooze blasting oozinator? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Just good, wholesome fun. Congratulations, Toronto. There are more weed dispensaries than Pizza Pizza locations in Toronto. It's official. We gotta celebrate, okay? Spark up that dube. I don't know where you're gonna eat after. I don't know where you're gonna eat after. Not enough pizza pizzas, but you know, we'll figure it out later. The police are very upset about this and the mayor. They believe consuming these substances could be harmful to the human body. Uh, they, they believe there should be some kind of government legislation to get this outbreak under control. Uh, we have to keep it out of the hands of children, many are saying. More scientific studies need to be done on, on the effects uh, of this. These are all things you could say about pizza pizza, but they're, they are referring to the weed uh, dispensaries. This guy especially does not seem to be happy. 120, you, you, you think, how, how is that sustainable? Unsustainable, where are you gonna, what's next? A coffee shop on every corner? <laughs> it's unsustainable, says consultant at Big Toke and Associates, your uh, second year law student. So maybe you should just chill out with the and associates. My favorite part though, of this entire report is uh, this incredibly charming reporter at the end. Let's just take a, let's take a quick gander at this guy because he really is a, a gem over at City TV. Now, in case you were wondering, when Mayor John Tory visited this medicinal marijuana shop on the weekend, he did not, I repeat, did not make a purchase. He is delightful. Oh my God, Mr. Model Reporter, tell me more. Just live in Kensington, I'm Adrian Gabriel, City News. Gabriel, oh, Gabriel, Gabriel, I don't know. So smooth. The delivery. Then he just goes right into like, I'm going to Kensington, live in Kensington. I'm just like, it's just so he's so smooth. It's so smooth. Drops it in and then just moves on. I'm live in Kensington Market, guys. He did not. I repeat, did not make a purchase. <laughs> the mayor. He did not. I repeat, did not make a purchase. Live in Kensington Market. What are you, a model or a goddamn city TV reporter? This man's beautiful, but also. I, like, did you just come up with that? Or did you tell everyone, like, guys, guys, just keep the camera rolling. I got it. I got one. I got a little, I got a little treat for everyone. I got a little treat for all of you at the end of the thing. <laughs> the mayor did not make a purchase. Big deal. Keep an eye out for this guy. Because, I mean, he hits the comedy scene. We're all done. We're done. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. That way, next week, you can hear me make fun of more things in Toronto. 
I'm going to make fun of more stuff, all right? And I'm definitely going to be watching, looking out for this Gabriel guy because, ugh, 